Hello, my name is Patrick, and we're here in Tacoma, Washington. We're interviewing about bees today. And my name is Rick Salmon. I'm a pastoral assistant for social justice here at St. Leo's Catholic Church. And we have a partnership program with Large Farm and Gardens, which is not too far away from here. And part of our partnership is running a program called La Honey. And La Honey is basically a sustainable beekeeping program that introduces sustainable beekeeping practices and kind of focuses on the social justice issues of agriculture and to see how we can develop systems that are more sustainable and kind of environmentally friendly. Okay, so this is a, a, a frame of, of beeswax, but it was capped full of honey. And what okay. we do is we get a hot knife and we cut this open because it's actually capped with, with wax. And that's how the bees um, keep the honey ready for them to use in the oh, winter. Okay. Because honey is the bees' winter food because there's no flowers in the winter. Yeah, they have yeah. to have energy to survive and that's what they use the honey for. So I take what I think is appropriate. So this here is um, a feeder. You won't see any of the bees in here. Uh, it has some feed in it already. Uh, so it just maybe needs a little bit more. So we'll just touch that up. It is uh, basically a sugar water uh, with uh, a mix of essential oils. It's a product. You got a zen it. I mean, I, I try to be very gentle with the bees. I, I care about them. And I try not to hurt them. Oh, he was probably waiting for us and we were afraid. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think we